Hi everyone, welcome to the Artful Aesthetic. My name is Kirsten and today I'm going to be kind of walking you through how I've been using my Hobonichi Weeks and why I think this is the ideal planner system for me. Um, we'll see. <laughs> I, as many planner people do, I tend to switch pretty often between planners. I see something I like or something that looks really neat and then I want to give that a shot. This system, however, has been working for me for the past few months without me wanting to kind of venture away at all. So I'm thinking this might actually be the system for me. Um, this is my Gilio, which is just my planner piece cover. It's really, I can't really describe it well enough for people to truly understand. Um, the best I could come up with for people who are into planners is the squishiness of a Filofax Malden. I mean, it is just lusciously squishy. <laughs> with the craftsmanship of maybe like gallon leather, the stitching's beautiful, this leather, although it is not as, I would say Traveler's Company leather is really kind of, I, I don't know how to describe it, like dense but smooth. I don't know. <laughs> this leather is just so beautiful too. You can see it's starting to get patina on it and so it did not used to be shiny at all and it is now. Um, this is the yellow Apunto Slim and when I first got it it was it was really mustardy. It was pretty close to like my Delphonics yellow um, pouch. It is quickly, quickly gaining color. And I just, I love it. This is my ideal leather planner. And inside of it, here's what I've started to use. I think this is kind of a helpful part of keeping the Hobonichi Weeks. So over here is um, a little pocket that I have little tabs, gold or brass colored tabs, credit cards, business cards, faculty ID, a picture of my daughter that I flipped around. This is where I keep my field notes. It fits perfectly inside. So without it is a little tiny bit slimmer, but with it in there, I mean, it really does not add too much bulk to it. So I just keep that back there. Um, I have moved from this, which was called, I think like pinstriped, maybe this maroon color. I actually started this in October and, um, moved over to this before the start of the year because I realized a mega is what was going to work best for me. So when you look at the difference between the two, this is, the mega is about maybe, not even twice as wide. It's hard to tell because I already have so much stuffed in this little mega, but when I condense them, you can kind of see. And I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to use all of the pages of the Mega, but I wanted to have that option while I was trying this system for the first time for an entire year. I do have the clear cover on cover, and then I used my Cricut to cut out um, my name and my email address just in case I lose this. Hopefully somebody would be able to get it back to me. Something I did that's different than... Um, the way this is intended to be used, I, I guess, is you see this piece of paper back here and back here. I'm really almost using this as a traveler's notebook cover because I love having the cover on cover. It's just, I don't know, it, it's what I feel most comfortable with. It's also really similar to what I would do with traveler's notebook insert, so I think that's part of it. But I like being able to slip pictures in here. Um, I like the pockets that it comes with. It's just something that I wanted to keep using. And it 
just very slightly did not fit with me putting the back cover slipped into this back pocket which really turned out fine because I want the whole notebook to be used without in my opinion the wear and tear that comes from having this back cover be what is holding the entire notebook in place so what I did um, a couple months ago was figure out to put the uh, it's just an elastic jump band I have for my traveler's notebook through the or between the cover on cover and the actual cover of the Hobonichi weeks because for a while I did have it in what was estimated to be kind of the middle of the book but that was creating so much bulk Tomoe River paper is just so thin that it it created too much bulk if I put it on either the front cover or the back cover then it still had just a strange bump to it I, I didn't like it so when it is between the cover and cover and the actual cover it is perfect um, then what I have is just a piece of hmm, I guess this is probably cardstock um, from it might be a Jane Davenport cardstock I think and I put transparent tape at the top and the bottom on both sides, which is something I learned to do when I had this guy, because without the transparent tape, the jump band will start to rip through the paper. So the one I had before, or the piece of paper I had before this actually ended up ripping almost in half. So, so far so good. I know this isn't something that's gonna work forever, but it'll work for me for now. So this allows me to have full use of both covers. It has a zipper pocket, which I don't think I have anything in right now. I have some weather stickers back here. Little washi tape stickers. This little die cut. I actually think he's a sticker, but I kind of made him be a die cut from Crystal Dyer. I just think he's cute. He lives back there. And then um, I do collect Lamy fountain pens, specifically all stars and um, safaris and anything with this this design. And this color I think just looks really nice with this color leather and the denim Hobonichi Weeks. So anyway, that is um, what I'm using. Please check out my next video to see a more in-depth tour of the Hobonichi Weeks itself. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.